We are definitely seeing things. Some people like their science explained. Some people like the mystery. My name is David Schechter. I'm a veteran reporter, and now I work for you. I'm taking real people out on the road to get their questions answered. And you're coming along for the ride. This is Verify Road Trip. They've perplexed travelers for nearly 150 years. The Marfa mystery lights sparkling through the West Texas night sky. Erica Wiggins is a third grade teacher. She told us she'd seen the lights in Marfa once before, but what is it that she saw? Can the lights even be explained by science? In the air, on the road, we're headed to Marfa. How do you feel about walking up to complete strangers and talking to them? Um, that makes me a little nervous. <laughs> it's a three hour drive from Midland to Marfa, and it is beautiful out here. Before it gets dark, Erica checks in with her third graders. What do you guys think the Marfa lights are? <laughs> Seeing them makes me miss them but they were also a little crazy, so I'm kind of glad to be out of school today. Then we Skype with James Bennell. He's a retired aerospace engineer who's written four books about the Marfa lights. He spent more than a decade on his research. I just talked to my third graders and they all said, it's aliens. So what <laughs> could I tell them what the lights actually are? I have concluded that most likely uh, these lights are fundamentally plasma. Plasma is the fourth state of matter, above solids, liquids, and gases. In his theory, tectonic plates rub together, causing underground lightning. That releases a hot ball of plasma, he says, and as it cools, it travels erratically through the air, shooting off light. I wish us luck. I wish you great luck in seeing the, the mystery lights tonight. Maybe they'll come out just for you. Yay. In 1883, Rosemary Cox's grandfather, Robert Ellison, was the first rancher to report seeing the mystery lights. She's lived in Marfa most of her life. She says the boys used to drive the girls out to see the lights, and they called it courting. Yeah, define that. What does that mean, courting? Boy, you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> she is telling some great stories, and she's a little bit sassy, so I like that. So do you think the Marfa lights are really a mystery, or do you think they could be solved by science? Oh, I think they're a mystery, and I want them to remain a mystery. It's almost night, and Rosemary joins Erica and me at the Marfa lights viewing station. Our expert, James, told us to look for a blinking radio tower to help us get our bearings. I think that's a radio tower. A radio tower is up in the air. I think it's just so far away that it looks low to us. I don't think that's right. I see, now I see a car. I do too. You see that car up there? Yeah. You can't see a car from here. Okay, we've got a controversy. Rosemary's been out here her whole life. She doesn't believe the Marfa lights could be possibly caused by headlights. <laughs> Aren't I entitled to my opinion? <laughs> A lot of people look at this and think they've seen the mystery lights. In the pitch black, our special low light camera shows those are not lights floating in the sky. Those are cars on a mountain road 20 miles in the distance. The lights appear to flash, our expert says, because the cars are occasionally masked behind terrain. This is like where we're sitting right now in the view station. Uh huh. And he's saying to look hard left, basically. So well, I bet there's not a way in the world to prove it. <laughs> Your view or mine. By nightfall, Rosemary is home in bed. And now we're all looking to the left of the tower where the expert says you can find the true Marfa mystery lights. The guys in our crew... You see it still? ...are starting to see things. Oh, it's red! Do you see that? No. I saw a flicker red. Oh, it's red. And we are definitely seeing things. We don't know what the, at red. Yep, I see it. 
I definitely saw a red. red, yeah, red, that, red yeah, that I saw that. Okay. I saw that. And we saw nothing drive that way. I did see red right there. Yeah, it's still there. Sure. Still there. I mean, oh, and then just dropped. Vanell had warned us about trucks on ranch roads. They can fool you, and I think they did. I think most likely that's a car. David, the truth is out there. <laughs> Our expert says the true lights don't show themselves very often, and we didn't see them tonight. Was it tail lights? Next morning, Erica and I are sardined inside a tiny 60 year old airplane. Bert, with Marfa gliders, is flying us over the things we saw last night. So it's far away. So far. You start to realize how far everything is away from you, and it makes this mystery even more mysterious. I wouldn't think that we could see the headlights from that far. I wouldn't either. Like, how can we be seeing headlights that are that far away? And you are a trooper up there. Yes. Way to go. I got the one arm hug. And the tower is farther away than, than you, you thought because the air is so clear out here. And Bert, our pilot, says that's why we could see the headlights from 20 miles away. And he's got a theory of his own about the lights. What do you think it is? Two jackrabbits rubbing up against each other. <laughs> So what have we verified? Well, we saw for ourselves some of the lights can be explained. They're headlights. But something else is out there too. Let's wrap up our trip at another mysterious Marfa location. Why is there a Prada store in the middle of nowhere? Everybody that we saw on the ground here doesn't need an answer. No, and I don't even think they want an answer. I think they like the mystery of it. Our expert says what we're seeing is likely plasma. Erica, though, is not convinced. She does not believe there's a good explanation for the lights. There have been a lot of people trying, but we just haven't found the answers yet. Our question was... Are the Marfa mystery lights really a mystery? And what do you think? Yes, they are really a mystery. Can't be explained by science or anything else. I don't think so. Some people like their science explained. Erica, she likes the mystery. Don't take my word for it, take hers.